Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm God Savor, and today I'm going to show you how to do the entire hardcore Easter egg in the new zombies map, the final rank for World War II. Now, you do need to have the entire casual Easter egg complete up to the point of no return. You do need to do this entire thing, the guided Easter egg, to even get to the main hardcore Easter egg. Just do the entire thing and then get up to the point where you shoot the hilt. Just do not shoot it with a Tesla gun or you'll be locked into the casual. Get up to this step and then we'll be able to move on to step one of the hardcore, which is the main Easter egg. So the step one of the hardcore Easter egg is to go around the map and find three spinner tops located throughout windows and roofs above you throughout spawn and a whole bunch of other areas in the beginning of the map. All you need to do is shoot them with any gun and they will drop down and hold square to pick them up. There are three of these. There's a green, an orange, and a red. Once you have found them, you can place them on this toy station right here, right next to the sewer. You can just pick one up and then place another one. They all spawn in right away though. The next one is going to be the orange one that I found. This is right outside of spawn in the entranceway towards the pub. Just shoot it and then pick it up. Now these are different every single game. There are a ton of different spawn points. I'm going to show you guys a couple more spawn points that I had throughout other games. But for my red one, my red is also near the pub up on this window right here next to the flag. They are in tricky spots too. They can be hard to see. So just look all over. Eventually you will find them. Shoot them and then hold square to pick them up. Once you have all three, bring them back over towards this toy station right here. And then you can place them all on the back of this wall. Here are two other spawn points that I've had for these spinner tops as well. This is the orange one that I had. This one was right outside of the entrance towards spawn right there on the window. And then I also had a, another spawn point for one of the red ones. This is over by the riverside as well. And this one is going to be up on the roof right here. So that is all the spawn points I know of. Now there are more spawn points. Just keep checking and eventually you will get them. Once you have all three spinner tops and you have placed them though, you need to go around the map and look through windows. There are going to be a dial with a bow tie and you need to remember the color of the bow tie and what the number on that dial says. Just look through any of the zombie spawn windows throughout the entire map and eventually you will find these. You do need to find two of these. Once you have found two and you know the numbers for both of your dials, you need to go back towards the spinner tops and on the spinner top you'll notice a black arrow. What you want to do is spin the spinner top by holding square. The spinner is actually like a clock. So right now as you guys can see my arrow is pointing to the left. Imagine this is the clock. 12 would be at the top, 6 would be on the bottom, 9 would be on the left, 3 would be on the right. So what you want to do is spin it until you have the number that was in the window of the color with the bow tie that is equal to the spinner top. So like I had the yellow in the window and my yellow on the dial said 11. So I need to spin the yellow dial until it has 11 o'clock shown on the dial. You need to do this with both of the colors that you found and then on the third spinner top, just spin it and eventually you will get it. You don't need to find three. As long as you have two in the right spot and you just start spinning the third, eventually this record right here will pop out. Hold square to pick up that record and we'll be able to move on to the next step. So this next step, you actually have to go back towards the power switches and you need to activate them again within a quick amount of time. You also will need a Brenner head from killing the flamethrower zombie, but if you've done the entire casual, you've already killed one of these, just make sure that you have a Brenner head ready and that it is in the control room right here. So hold square on the power switch and then run on over as fast as you can to the other power switch to turn the light green. Once you have both power switches turned on for a second time, run back into the control room and then you'll notice another dial right here that you can hold square to turn and it will turn green. You will need a Brenner head though again, just make sure you have one of these ready. Once you have held square on that dial, pull out a Tesla gun and you will need to shoot these coils right here. They will electrocute the coil and then you need to grab the Brenner head quickly and scan this dial right here. Once you have scanned it, you need to hold square on the dial until you've turned all of the numbers blue. So as you guys see, the, the zero is blue on mine. You just need to hold square and continuously turn this dial and eventually you will notice the blue color if you have scanned it. You need to do this on two separate rounds. So this first time, the first one that I did right here is in the laboratory. Once you have all of these turned blue, this will open up, you hold square and you will pick something up. It's a little piece of a coin from inside of that safe right there. But again, you do need to do this twice. So you need to wait an entire another round and then you need to shoot the coil and then grab a brighter head. And then there's another one of these that you need to do in the morgue area. This is the second one. Again, just scan it with the Brenner head and then start holding square on the dials until they all light up blue and you will be good to go. Once this is open, just hold square to pick up the coin piece that spawns in on the second one. And this step of the Easter egg will be complete. Once you have both coins, you can head on down into the salt mines area. And if you follow the path exactly as I do, you have both coins. You can go behind the, the hilt right here and there will be a coin that you can hold square on to turn. This will spawn in the sword and completing this next step of the Easter egg. 
Once you have the sword, head on over towards the riverside area, and on the walkway right here, you will notice a weather vane. If you hold square on it, this thing will start to spin, and then the arrow is going to point a certain direction. Whatever direction this arrow points, you need to look over that way, and there will be a really, really small yellow light that you can only see while aiming down your sights. So aim down your sights, look in the direction that the arrow pointed, and then eventually you will see the smallest yellow dot ever. This is mine right here. It's way out there. It's really hard to see, but what you need to do is you need to shoot it and you can only see it again by aiming down sights. If you shoot it, this water wheel will start to turn to the right right here. And what you want to do is head on over towards the docks themselves. You do need an upgraded Tesla gun for this step. So just make sure that you have that as well and then head down the path. And right here is a, another set of Tesla coils that you will need to shoot with the upgraded Tesla gun. Once you have shot these with the upgraded test of the gun, we'll be able to move on to the next step. So for the next step, you do need the sword. You do need to be caught up to this completely and then head on into the pub. And on the back, you'll notice a gramophone. What you need to do is wait till the next round because this is timed. And depending on how many players you have is how many zombies you will need to kill. So what you need to do is hold square to place the record from earlier on the gramophone. And then you need to pull out the sword and you need to kill about 40 to 50 zombies in about three to four minutes. Now this is hard if you're playing solo, it's very difficult, so just make sure that you have jack-in-the-boxes and you throw those throughout this. Also, do not run away, you need to just stand here, make sure you have armor, and you need to just keep killing zombies. If you have more players, this is a whole lot easier, as you can kill multiple zombies and you barely will get hit. But you again, you need to kill about 40 to 50 zombies, depending on how many players you have in your game. And it is a little bit difficult solo, so just be prepared for this. Do not run away. You need to stand in the corner and just keep hitting them. You shouldn't die because the sword is pretty powerful, as you guys can see. It's around 27. We're still killing them in one hit. But again, jack-in-the-boxes are huge for this. Just melee the zombies. This step is probably the hardest step in the entire Easter egg. If you can get past this, then you are good to go. But again, just keep knifing them. And eventually, there's no activation sound to know if you've completed this. Just know after about three minutes, you can run out of here. And then if you can hold a zombie at the end of the round, if you come back in, you will know if this is complete. If you go over towards the gramophone and you hear it playing ticking noises, it's going to tick a code that we will need to input into the salt mines. It's going to play a four digit code. And I'll let you guys listen to what that sounds like right here. So again, what happens here is it plays a four digit code. So it does five ticks and then it has a pause. So my first one, number is five, one, two, pause, one, two, pause, one, two, three, four, five. So my code is five, two, two, five. Once you have your code, you can head on back into the salt mines. And then on this little statue right here, there will be four little dials that you can turn to input a code. What you need to do is with your code, enter them clockwise. So the first number was five. So I need to go left and enter five. I need to go around the entire thing and just enter my code in that order. So my code was 5225. So my second dial to the left will be 2. And then I continuously move clockwise. My next dial is going to be 2 as well. And then my last dial is going to be 5. If you have your code inputted and then you hold square on this red button right here, you will hear a very, very faint audio cue saying the sound is getting louder. If you fail, you will know you fail. You won't be able to input the code again. But if you do this right again, you will hear a very, very faint audio cue saying the sound is getting louder. For this last step, you will need all four Tesla guns upgraded. You need to bring the Tesla gun into this chambers and then you need to look up into the sky and shoot the candles above the hilt. Do not shoot the hilt or you will be stuck in the casual again. But just look above the hilt and shoot the candles with the upgraded Tesla gun. You'll know that you have it right if the entire circle like lights up for half a second and then candles drop down. Again, you do need all four Tesla guns to be shot at this thing. So I'll have guides coming out on all four of those, but just make sure throughout your game that you are upgrading the Tesla guns. Do not wait till this step. Do them throughout the game as it makes this a whole lot easier. But once you have shot all of the candles with every single upgraded Tesla gun, you don't need to shoot it with the normal. You will have this little cue right here saying that you found an artifact and you will be able to move on to the boss. So to actually get into the boss fight, you need to shoot the orb itself with all of the Tesla guns at the same time. 
for this you need ammo and you need armor and i would recommend having perks as well and then you can go into the boss fight so just make sure you are prepared because unless you have a wall buy from spawn you will not be able to buy ammo again you will get max ammo throughout the fight but just make sure that you are prepared once you are ready grab the hilt and this will trigger the boss fight to spawn in you get a very very short cutscene and you will be teleported into the boss fight area itself so the hardcore boss fight is literally just the Panzer Mortar, except a little bit more difficult. If you've done the casual and you fought the Panzer Mortar before, you are familiar with this boss fight. But what you want to do is run an entire lap around the area and wait for the blimp to start doing an attack. How I would recommend you fight him is have all players run around the entire lap, bring the Panzer Mortar with you, and then once you get towards the sewer area is when you want to shoot the blimp. Again, if you're in hardcore, only one light will spawn in on the blimp that you will be able to shoot. So if you've done this Easter egg, this one is a little bit more difficult. But if you run an entire lap around, bring the Panzer Mortar with you, wait till you're above the spawn by the sewers, and then all players shoot right here. This is by far the easiest way to go about this. So if, again, shoot the blimp, and then what this will do is if you shoot the one red light on the blimp, a battery will drop down. What you need to do with this is kill zombies by the battery. This is easy if you have the jack in the boxes. A lot of zombies are going to spawn in right here. Not many spawn in when you're looking at the light and shooting it, except the pens and mortar is a pain because he will continue to chase you and he will mess you up if he hits you. So try to avoid him. But I would just, the way I would recommend this is run a lap every single time. If you, if it's getting too chaotic, just run all the way around. The Panzer Mortar will not be a problem at all because he is slow and he will not be able to catch up to you very easily. Run to the battery and then just continuously to kill zombies right here. Charge it up and then the battery itself is going to drop once you have enough kills near this like this little generator thing right here. Like, Jack in the boxes are very, very beneficial for this again. And the upgraded pistols do work as well. But once you have enough kills next to this generator right here, you will know this is complete when a battery spawns in. What you want to do with this battery is you need to stun the Panzer Mortar. And to stun him, the Tesla guns are very, very good for this. Just shoot him with any gun. I would recommend the Teslas because they do a lot of damage. Any gun works though. Shoot the Panzer Mortar and he will go down to one knee. What you want to do with the battery is once he goes down to one knee you need to place the battery into the panzer mortar it is time though and you do need to place the battery in there quick you hold square once you have the battery to place it once he is stunned you need to do this three times so after you've done that once just run around the entire map again wait till you're above spawn shoot the blimp drop down the battery get the zombie kills next to the generator to actually acquire the battery and then shoot the panzer mortar with the tesla gun pick up the battery for a second time and once he gets done run over to the panzer mortar with the battery hold square to place the battery inside of him and you'll be two thirds of the way done shoot the blimp again with your ballistic weapon and then get the kills next to the generator get the battery pick it up shoot the panzer mortar again with the tesla gun wait till he goes down to one knee and then place the battery inside of him if you do this three times you will finish this fight off and you will get a cutscene right here i'm going to skip this one out i will have the cutscene uploaded separately but also once you have this complete you will get a trophy as well as all of the perks permanently throughout the game if you go down you just have to buy the perks again so that has been how to get the hardcore easter egg completed on the world war ii zombies with the final reich thank you guys so much for watching this video and until next time we'll see you guys later with some more world war ii zombies gameplay peace